Hello everyone. I hope you all are in the best of your health. My name is Uddhav Bhattacharya and I am going to present my paper on media literacy and new genre of education that has been co-authored by my fellow friend Mr. Sainthan Mandel and the basic question of our research paper is why and how the 21st century media literacy is different from the past century. Now to begin with we need to understand the role of media in our society and we all know that media is often called the fourth pillar of the democracy because it acts as a watchdog to executive legislature and judiciary uh, but the question is it is actually serving the purpose of a pillar or it is becoming a non-conventional security threat divided because we all know the state and its people uh, in order to uh, perform their daily activity need to be keep updated on the daily basis but, but the amount of fake news or falsified information that are coming to us uh, that has the actually that has the capability to uh, harm the state and its people so to keep ourselves safe from the hoax or falsified information or the fake news is we need to be media literate now what is media literacy in simple words uh, media literacy is the capability to understand or analyze the content the media is spreading and the, so, so the people who are effectively and efficiently uh, can understand the messages or analyze the content the media is delivering uh, the people are media literate now uh, coming to my next slide uh, methodology in order to a better understanding of the subject we have used both uh, qualitative and quantitative research method for this uh, research paper and under quantitative research method we have done a survey where we uh, set a questionnaire and send it to our uh, sample via google forms and under qualitative uh, research method we have done a uh, content analysis of uh, past uh, some some uh, some example of uh, some past fake news and its effectivity uh, in the society and under the qualitative uh, research method we also done uh, we have taken to interview one of one uh, from the long time media educator and uh, one from the uh, active on field journalist to put the uh, expert opinion in our uh, paper now coming to my next slide the indian media in 1990s we all know that with the uh, with the with the uh, with the new economic policy in 1991 the privatization is introduced to our uh, uh, country and uh, uh, in 1991 uh, the indian broadcast media was privatized in the year 1991 which marked the entry of private channels like star tv and in 1992 the first indian media the first privatized indian media ztv is introduced to our country uh, but the media system uh, back then was not uh, so much uh, developed as it is today because uh, the uh, barriers like uh, that barriers were there like uh, uh, lack of instant feedback and spiral of science silence etc and uh, we all know that the, some elite class people used to uh, hold the information business and uh, the common people in fear of being judged they never came out with the ideas or opinions even if their opinions differ from the media so internet media was not there so people uh, the people were more dependent on uh, broadcast media and print media mostly on print media and also radio was there and uh, that necessitated people to become print literate uh, to become uh, broadcast media literate now coming to my next slide the indian media in 21st century the 21st century marked the popularity of the internet and accordingly the social media which hugely contributed to the to the boom in the fake news industry uh, research, uh, recent instance uh, where fake news created a huge impact on our society can be found in the 2019 lok sabha election which uh, which also which is also mockingly called the whatsapp election because uh, the the amount of fake news that time spread over the over the social media uh, uh, create a uh, create a effect on our society and uh, we all know that baduria com communal right even some uh, res responsible media houses and some responsible people of our society uh, spread some fake news fake images on that time and that actually fuel that communal right and we all know that many people uh, get killed and many people got injured and uh, many people died and uh, the uh, government property been vandalized by the people 
and uh, the second uh, but the third and the most recent case uh, case is the uh, some people are becoming uh, covid expert or covid gurus in this recent times because they are deliberately spreading fake news like consuming alcohol can cure corona eating garlic can cure corona and uh, standing in the sun can cure corona and uh, the that people from the rural area are actually believing this fake news as, as facts and they are performing that to uh, to get rid of corona uh, so the effectiveness we can see uh, the effectiveness of the fake news fake news as we can see and we can understand how it is uh, harmful to our society and now coming to our uh, next uh, slide the media literacy initiative so post 2000 era uh, many governmental and non, non governmental organizations has uh, has taken some initiative to uh, establish media literacy in the basic education system to start with kfi kfi, uh, KFI workshop and its uh, uh, kfi media literacy workshop followed by the <coughs> balwani voice of young and uh, uh, plan uh, the, some initiative by plan and uh, and uh, C ncf in 2005 cit uh, initiatives and gandhi media literacy program so, uh, so the basic the basic uh, idea behind the, those um, uh, media literacy program was to, uh, to make student and as well as the teacher understand the role of media in the society and uh, how it can be effective and uh, how how uh, we should keep ourselves updated Uh, from the fake fake uh, from the from how uh, we should keep our how students should keep uh, themselves updated and uh, they should understand the role of the media and they they that this workshop provide some uh, basic media tools to the teachers that they can make student understand the role of the media now coming to my uh, next slide the survey we have got from the uh, from the uh, from the respondent the according to the response gathered from the online survey about 59% of the respondents uh, respondent majorly depending on the news website and apps to get the daily news it is followed by the self regulated social media on which about 25% of the respondent rely on for news and information all the survey reflect no list for the radio news which can be because the respondent uh, were, were uh, basically from the urban urban uh, internet user and the usage of radio radio cannot be undermined as it is has the maximum reach in india even to the remote, uh, remote villages and uh, about 49% of the respondents said that the all, uh, that they always cross check the news uh, they are getting and which is pretty possible as the internet uh, users have the privilege of reaching multiple sources simultaneously in their smartphones also there is a huge need of fact checking as false information can mislead the in audience the survey found the fact checking website called factchecker.in is to be most popular as well as most be wide most widely used fact checking website in india followed by alt news and several several others now respondent also believe that whatsapp is the major source of fake news in the in the in the fake news industry in india followed by facebook however they also 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 you know, they also think that uh, the social medias like instagram and twitter has the laser tendency to spread fake news now finally the uh, the respondent were asked whether media literacy should be a part of the school initiative school school curriculum or not uh, and in which about 89% uh, uh, respondent said yes it should be it should be a part of the school uh, school level curriculum and uh, for, but the other other 11% remain, remaining think that no or uh, maybe it should be the part of the school curriculum now uh, coming to my conclusion part so what we need to do to get uh, to save the next generation to uh, to from the bombardment of fake news the first one is uh, the media literacy program need to be or media literacy related subject or syllabus need to be incorporated in the school level program uh, school level um, syllabus because from the basic level if student uh, get to know about the uh, role of the media and what is fake news and wh how they are uh, harming the society uh, then we can save the uh, next 2 3 generations or next gen generations from the from the uh, bombardment of fake news 
now uh, second part the journalist the journalist should take a step forward for the uh, ethical uh, journalistic uh, ethical gen journalist uh, journalism because uh, the ethical journalism can uh, can cure cure this this this, uh, this problem called fake news called fake news and falsified information because the media industry because media industry has the has a huge impact on people if if journalists journalists should uh, if journalists started trying ethical journalist uh, journalism and they they keep uh, our uh, keep uh, keep uh, keep uh, awarding people about the fake news and falsified information then the huge uh, huge change can can be uh, happen happen in our india and uh, we can get rid of this uh, problem called fake news uh, fake news and third uh, and last but not the least the multi sourcing and fact checking of every informa information because uh, clearly the in the information we are getting from the internet media has no has no particular source so we need to do multi uh, sourcing and fact checking we need to check every fact in the fact checking website uh, so that we can understand the what is actually uh, actually actual message and if there is any propaganda or the fake news is uh, there or not uh, to keep ourselves updated or keep keep ourselves uh, media literate so these are the these these are the things i i, I we think that we should do uh, to get rid of uh, fake news fake news and bombardment of uh, falsified information so that is all guys thank you for your time so that uh, that can be concluded here thank you